there. Welcome to Lab Workshop 4B. So today we're going to create a database for Dr. Garrett's chiropractic and wellness clinic. Uh, your instruction sheet shows the ER diagram and I'll just open up the database that's been started for you. So uh, I've created tables for employee, patient, and service, and those tables have data in them. I've also created a table for the visit entity, um, and there's no data in that at the moment. I've done lookups for certain uh, in the in the service table, there's a lookup for the service type. In the employee table, there's a lookup for classification, employee classification. And there's a lookup for the foreign key uh, in the visit table. So the visit table is on the many side of the one-to-many relationship between patient and visit. So that's uh, work has been done. We can go and look at the relationship tool and see what's there. So at the moment there's only a relationship between the patient and the visit. Uh, and that's shown as a one-to-many relationship with referential integrity enforced. So I'll just close that at the moment. So the first thing we have to do is we look at the entity relationship diagram and there's one entity that hasn't been created yet and that's the entity called the visit service. Visit service is on the many side of three relationships. Uh, one with the employee table, one with the visit table, and one with the service table. So that tells me that we're going to have three foreign keys in this table. So we'll go to create table. Uh, the, we'll go to design view. So the table name is visit service. And it wants an ID here. So we will have, I'm actually not going to do I'm going to do a composite key here. So the first thing I'm going to put in is the foreign key from the visit table. So that's visit ID. And in the visit table, that is a number. And then I'm going to put the service ID in the service table, that's actually a text field. Remember, we have to have matching data types. When we put a foreign key in, it has to match the data type that we will find when we go to the primary key in the other table. And then I've got employee ID. And that's also a text data type. I, th I can make the a composite key consisting of visit ID and service ID. And I think I can do that because I wouldn't have the same service being provided twice on one visit. So, uh, so that means that the combination of visit ID and service ID will be a unique identifier for each record in this table. So to do that, I've got the primary key against visit ID right now. Um, I can right click here and just take it off. So now I have no primary key. And I want to get keys on both of these. So I will click on that box, hold down the control key and click on service ID box. And then right click, say primary key. And I get a double key there, one on each of those fields. So that's how we put in a composite key. I also want to do lookups for the service ID and the employee ID. So when I'm inputting into what visits, what services have been provided on a particular bit visit, I don't want to have to remember IDs. I want to look up the name of a service and the name of an employee. 
So if you remember from last uh, week, to do the lookup tables, we go to data type at the bottom. So for service ID, I want a lookup wizard. I want it to get the values from another table. I go to the service table. I say next. I want to bring over service ID and service description. I'll say next. I'll sort by service description. I'll say next. And so here's all the different services that we can provide at the clinic. And that looks good. I'll say finish. Table must be saved before relationship can be created. Yes. And I'll do the same for the employee ID. So the lookup wizard, get the values from another table. Uh, this time I'm going to the employee table. I want to bring over employee ID and last name and first name. I'll say next. We'll sort by employee last name. I'll say next. And there's a list of my employees. So that looks good. I'll say finish. Table must be saved. Okay. So um, we're finished with our visit service table. And I will close this. And now we will go to the database tools and the relationships table again. So at the moment, I still just have my patient and my visit. If I right click, I get the right click menu and I would say show table. So I want to show my other tables here. So I need to show the add the employee table. I'll add the I've got patient. I'll add the service table. I'll add the visit service table. And I'll say close. So we did create some relationships by doing those lookups. I want this to look like my entity relationship diagram in my, from my instructions there. So I'll just move everything around a little bit. I do want these relationships to be uh, to enforce referential integrity. So if I right click and edit the relationship, I can click the box and say OK. And on right to click again here, edit the relationship, click the box for enforce referential integrity and say OK. So that gets me my uh, one to many symbols on those relationships. And then the last thing I have to do is actually create a relationship between the visit table and the visit service table. And visit ID is the primary key in the visit table, and it appears here as, the, as a foreign key in the visit service table. So to create a relationship, I click on the primary key, and then as I hold down the, the, my mouse, I drag it to where I see visit ID in the as a foreign key in the other table. I let go of my mouse. I say enforce referential integrity and create. So there I've created the last relationship I need uh, for my database. So my relationship tool now matches the, um, the entity relationship diagram that showed the model for our database. So everything's good. I should be able to close this now. Save changes to layout. Yes. Okay, and to put my final bit, bits of data into this database, I'm going to create a form with the subform. Because at the moment, I have no visits and nothing in the visit service table. So I now want to input some initial visits into my database. So I'm going to create, and I'm going to use the form wizard again. So what I want to include here is all the fields. I go to the visit table, and I'm going to bring over everything from the visit table. So the patient, the visit date, and the visit ID. And then I'm going to go to the service visit table or visit service table 
and I've already got visit ID, so I want to bring over service ID and employee ID. So I'll say next. And because I picked fields from two different tables, uh, it asks me, it gives me a choice here. I can have a form with subform, and it shows me what that will look like, or I can have linked forms. But in this case, I do want the form with subform. So I'll leave that checked. I'll say next. Uh, I'll accept the default for the layout. I'll say next. Uh, titles, so it's a visit form with a, a visit service subform. And then I'll open the form to enter information. So I'll say finish. So the visit service form and subform, the information at the top here has to do with the visit. So this will go into our visit table. The information in this box here, it has to do with the visit service or what services were provided on that particular visit. So we've got uh, six visits to enter here. So I want to enter the visit ID is going to be auto numbered. I want to put the first patient is Craven and the visit date is November 10th. The service provided was a back alignment, back adjustment, uh, and the employee was Garrett. And that was all that was provided on that, uh, that visit. So now we'll go to another second visit. Second visit, the patient was Handley. The visit date was November 11th. Uh, Handley had a 30-minute therapeutic massage uh, provided by Langer, and he also bought an energy drink, and he bought that from French, Louis French. So you can see how we can put two different services on the same visit. So I'll go next. So the third visit, patient is Kelly. Visit date is November 11th. Uh, service was a back adjustment. Employee was Garrett. And that was all that was provided. So we'll go to the fourth visit. Our fourth visit, the patient was McDonald. Visit date was November 13th. Service was neck alignment, to neck adjustment. Employee is Garrett. And that was all. So we go to our fifth visit. Patient was Etherington on November 13th. Received a 30-minute foot reflexology from Brotman and also bought some grapeseed oil uh, from Brotman. Okay, and then the last one, um, actually in the class you'll be adding a, a visit for yourself because you will have added yourself in as a patient. So we'll close the visit form here, the visit form with the visit service subform. And that's uh, the end for part one. Um, in part two, we'll look at queries and reports.